Thank you for your interest in Union Pacific. This presentation will provide you with the information regarding company culture, benefits, and job-specific work information. Please pay careful attention to decide whether a career in the engineering department is the right choice for you and your family. Please note that if you interview for a specific position and are not selected or receive an offer and do not accept the position, you will not be able to apply for that same position for six months. Therefore, it is important to only apply to and interview four locations where you intend to live and work, as relocation benefits are not available. If you've applied for a system position with no location specified, the position will require travel at the beginning and end of every work period. The men and women of Union Pacific are dedicated to serve. Union Pacific works for the good of our customers, shareholders, communities, and one another. Our commitment defines us and drives the economic strength of our company and country. Union Pacific Railroad strictly prohibits any discrimination based on a person's race, color, gender, national origin, age, disability, religion, veteran status, sexual orientation, or any other ground prohibited by law. This policy covers all aspects of employment, including hiring. At Union Pacific, we have zero tolerance for drugs and alcohol in the workplace. This is extremely safety sensitive work and employees are subject to mandatory testing for reasonable suspicion, random drug and alcohol testing, and post-incident testing. Although some states have legalized marijuana, Union Pacific reminds employees that marijuana use is a violation of UP's drug and alcohol policy. Use or possession of marijuana is prohibited regardless of the state in which an employee resides. Union Pacific also conducts pre-employment testing for all positions. Smoking is not allowed on Union Pacific property, company vehicles, locomotives, or any property being used by UP, including meetings held off-site. At Union Pacific, engineering department employees are expected to work in the city or location for which they are hired. These are headquartered jobs typically reporting to the assigned location four to five days per week and on call seven days a week in case of business need or interruption. Employees must live within a reasonable distance of their assigned work location so that they may respond to after hour calls within one hour of receiving the call. These are variable schedules. For example, some work groups may work four 10 hour shifts while others may work five eight hour shifts per week. Engineering department employees must be able to work outside in all weather conditions for an extended period of time, often working around heavy moving equipment and on uneven ground, be able to report to work as needed after hours on an on-call basis within one hour of call out, depending on assigned location, be able to work nights, weekends, and holidays. UP engineering employees frequently work variable shift schedules depending on the assigned project overtime may be required. Engineering department employees may be assigned to a regional, system, or service unit work group or gang. Candidates accepting a position in the engineering department are not eligible to apply for a transfer to a different craft for two years from their start date. We recommend that candidates apply for the job and location that they are most interested in as transfers between crafts are not guaranteed and generally will result in forfeiting one seniority upon accepting a position in another craft or department. Temporary furloughs or layoffs are a possibility, especially for new employees with lower seniority. Employees at Union Pacific can be furloughed due to fluctuations in the economy in combination with relatively low seniority. Furloughed employees are encouraged to apply for other openings at Union Pacific or hold outside employment during periods of furlough. Employees are both furloughed and recalled according to their seniority date. Candidates should understand the likelihood of being furloughed at some point during their employment. Safety is Union Pacific's number one priority because nothing is more important than protecting our employees and surrounding communities. Safety is also a critical component of our customer commitment. Union Pacific employees driven safety initiatives include Courage to Care, a voluntary commitment empowering employees to look out for their peers and stop the line on operations that could result in an incident. At Union Pacific, safety is everyone's responsibility. We invest significant resources in training employees, 
developing innovative technologies, and increasing rail safety awareness. Our ultimate goal is to operate an incident-free environment, which we advance toward every day. During training, you will be trained on safety practices and procedures, including the proper use of personal protective equipment, or PPE. Union Pacific cares about the safety of our employees and has safety programs in place to ensure the safety of our employees and the communities in which we operate. New hire engineering employees complete a comprehensive paid training program consisting of classroom and on-the-job training. All engineering employees will complete an initial two weeks of training currently taking place in Omaha, Nebraska, before reporting to their assigned work location. In addition to Union Pacific and Federal Railroad Administration regulations, new employees will be instructed on safety procedures, including the use of PPE, tools, and equipment. Employees will complete both classroom and on-the-job training and assessments, which must be successfully completed as a condition of employment. Travel and lodging will be provided during these two weeks of training. All new hires must complete a 60-day, or as specified by union agreement, probationary period. Employees must be able to follow safety precautions and regulations while working safely and efficiently. Safety is our number one priority. Engineering department employees must belong to the labor organization or union of their craft. Union initiation generally occurs following the probationary period of your craft. Union dues are paid monthly through automatic withdrawal from the employee's paycheck. At Union Pacific, our benefits are far from basic. We're proud to offer all of our employees a robust choice of benefits. Union Pacific provides employees with programs that enhance work and home life. Specific benefits will depend on your location and position as most union benefits are determined by collective bargaining agreements. In addition to excellent health and medical coverage and railroad retirement benefits, Union Pacific employees are eligible to start contributing to the company 401k plan after one year of service. The company pays all administrative fees for this savings plan, which is offered through Vanguard. Union Pacific is partnering with PerkSpot to provide users with exclusive discounts from hundreds of national and local merchants. This service is available to all employees, interns, retirees, and members of their household. As a railroad employee, retirement and disability benefits may be available to qualified railroad employees and spouses. Railroad retirement is a program similar to, but legislatively and administratively separate from the Social Security system. The two systems, Social Security and Railroad Retirement, are closely coordinated with regard to earnings credits, benefit payments, and taxes. Railroad employees and employers pay a Tier 1 tax, which is the same as Social Security tax. Employees and employers also pay a Tier 2 tax, which contributes to financing railroad retirement benefit payments in excess of coverage provided under Social Security. The Railroad Retirement Board administers retirement, survivor, and unemployment sickness insurance benefits for railroad workers and their families. Credit for a month of railroad service is given for every month in which an employee had some compensated service for an employer covered by the Railroad Retirement Act. Full retirement benefits are available to employees with 30 years of service who are at least 60 years of age. Reduced benefits are available to employees with less than 30 years of service beginning at age 62. There is no mandatory retirement age. More information regarding railroad retirement benefits can be found by visiting the RRB website at www.rrb.gov. Specific health and wellness benefits will depend on your location and position. Agreement or union benefits are determined by the National Health and Welfare Agreement. Every full-time Union Pacific employee has access to medical and retirement benefits, as well as programs that enhance your work and home life. Under the National Health and Welfare Agreement, employees receive medical, prescription drug, mental health, and substance abuse benefits. Employees are also offered a dental and vision plan. Healthcare eligibility begins on the first day of the calendar month after the month the employee is hired and works the required amount of days. 
Vision and dental eligibility begins one year after they become eligible for medical benefits. Care Advantage allows employees access to a large self-selected online database of caregivers. Care and services are arranged and paid for by the employee. There is no cost to join the Care Advantage program. Agreement or union employees are entitled to vacation based on the number of years of creditable service they have with the company, provided they have met the annual work requirements. Vacation is credited on January 1st to be used throughout the year. New employees are eligible for one week of vacation after one qualifying year of employment and 120 starts. Vacations are scheduled according to seniority, so as a new employee with lower seniority, you may have to take your vacation earlier in the year. After one qualifying year of employment, employees earn one week of vacation. After two qualifying years of employment, employees earn two weeks of vacation. Eight years equals three weeks, 17 years equals four weeks, and after 25 qualifying years of employment, employees earn five weeks of vacation. Union Pacific's Employee Resource Groups, ERGs, are nurturing networks promoting a diverse workplace where everyone does their best work. Each ERG has an executive sponsor directing the leadership's team's attention to issues of a particular concern. ERGs support their members, educate other employees, and support the communities we serve. About 3,000 employees across Union Pacific are involved in one or more employee resource group. The interview process averages around one to two weeks, with the offer averaging within one to five days after the interview. Once an offer has been accepted online, the post-offer process, online registration, background, medical, physical abilities testing, on average takes around four weeks to complete. The overall union or agreement hiring process takes around 70 to 90 days from job posting to start date. Simply log on to your up.jobs account at any time to view where you are in the hiring process. As you can see, Union Pacific offers you a career, not just a job. Everything you do each day makes a difference to America. We ask that you spend some time with your family, friends, or those close to you to discuss your next steps. Please make sure that this lifestyle is good for you. It's a demanding career that will help develop a skill set to respond effectively to challenges.